Yo, what's good boys? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can double your edit speed and also remove edit delay on console. So I have two super easy tips for you guys to follow on how you can remove edit delay, and then I'll give you some tips on how you can double your editing speed. But before this video starts, please subscribe to the channel and drop a like on the video. Um, let's go for like 25 likes on this video, and if you're new, make sure you subscribe because we're trying to hit 2,000 subscribers really soon. I'll be doing a giveaway for that. But um, also, um, quick shout out to everybody who used my code when they bought the Travis Scott skins will be up on the screen right now. If you want to shout out in the next video, all you have to do is use code KDOGTULYYT and then DM me a picture of it on Instagram or Twitter. They're both linked in the description right now and they should be up on the screen right now also. But uh, without further ado, thank you guys all so much for the support recently and um, let's just get straight into this video. Alright, so we're going to start off with how to remove edit delay. So this right here is the best way to do it in my opinion. You want to go into your settings, you want to go to the second bar, you want to scroll all the way to the bottom of your screen and you want to go to where it says record replays. You want to make sure that all of these are off because if you read it, it says recording replays can reduce performance and take up hard drive space. So what this means basically is it can do stuff such as like have edit delay or have delay just in general. And um, as you can see here, I can do triple edits when I turn it off, but when I have it on, it's a lot harder because there's a lot more delay. And so if you want to do stuff like have these on, make sure you turn off your replays unless you're like a content creator that needs the replays for some sort of video. But another thing that I see that people have been turning on recently is confirm edit on release. In my opinion, for controller, this is one of the worst settings in the game right now. If you're on keyboard and mouse, it's perfect because like it's really good on keyboard and mouse. But if you're on controller, like as you can see, there's so much delay when you play with confirm edit on release. So you want to make sure that you have that off. I use double edit binds and I'd recommend using double edit binds also if you want a video on why double edit binds are effective just drop a comment in the comment section down below but personally i don't think that confirm edit on release is a good setting at all it's just so delayed and you have to wait for the console to do the editing besides yourself doing the editing and i just really don't like confirm edit on release but i mean if you think it's better for you for you then you can keep it on but personally i just feel like there's so much more delay and it just feels laggier when you have it on so um in my opinion i'm just going to be keeping the setting off so uh, now i'm going to teach you guys some tips on how you can double your edit speed but these are pretty much the best tips on how you can uh get rid of edit delay so let's move on to how you can double your edit speed so in my personal opinion i believe that raiders has some of the best courses on how to make your edits faster so if you want to do this course um, i'll put the code on the screen but this is the course that i do pretty much every time i need to warm up for something like a tournament but his courses just put you in like so many different situations like it helps you with like edits you don't normally do so you're better at those and also helps you with like awkward edits and in my opinion like raiders just has the best edit courses right now so pretty much any raiders edit course would work and so there's just so many different varieties of stuff you can do on these like it helps you with resetting it helps you with double editing with even like aiming and all that so so not even just for like warming up but just for like getting your edits better in general i feel like any raiders course is the best one that you want to do you can just go to his channel and see the different courses he's made like there's different types of like top corner edits that are difficult and there's just so many different things that you can do on these courses there's also a, a mongrel edit uh thing in this that i can show you guys in a little bit but like there's double edits or staircase rotates and i feel like another thing on if you want to improve your edit speed is sensitivity like if you have a really low sensitivity then you're going to be more smooth yeah but like if you want to get like fast edits and like double your edit speed you want to have a little bit like medium to high sense um i have a settings video out on my channel that you guys can go check out but here is the uh, mongrel classic so like it helps you like with just so many situations in game and i just feel like these edit courses are like the best way to improve your editing speed and like that's what i did to improve my editing speed and it helped a lot but that's pretty much all the tips i have but you guys have been asking for some longer videos so i'm going to add some zone wars clips at the end of uh after like some of these clips go away so you guys are going to see some zone wars clips so if you watch to this part of the video comment a uh whatever type of sports emoji you guys want to comment in the comment section down below so that i know you watch the whole video but um enjoy these zone wars clips and i'll catch you guys on the next video subscribe to the channel like the video use code kid actually yt and i'll catch you guys on the next video
get satisfied. So, and you know we out here every day with it. I'ma show you how to get it. It goes up.